Gavin Malloy is very usual, slowing back into the side. Poynacker could cause a problem here, Boyd gets on to it. Back to Matty Smith, and it's one down to Shelburne! And Nando Poynacker will not be happy with that one. And it's Matty Smith. He got the goal against Sligo in the win here at Talca Park. Sean Boyd doesn't give it up, gets into the box, picks the pass from Matty Smith, and Shelburne lead five minutes into the game and stayed. That's a good finish from Matty Smith. Really composed, really, really composed. I mean, how the chance came about in the first place, just sleepy stuff. As you mentioned, I think it was Nando Pinecker just completely switches off. I don't know whether he was expecting a flag or not really too sure what. Just took a strange touch off and it's 25 year old Swede now with this. And this is where Sligo Horchels in the game we talked last time, Steve. They get the ball in, it's good ball. Poynacker heads it over. Probably should do better with that, Steve. He showed it's the league's worst kept secret, I think. Shell's inability to defend set pieces. as you've seen. Shell's gave way a last minute goal. It was sarcastically cheered by the Riverside on, <laughs> on Monday night. Well, that'd be a massive, massive blow for Sligo. Big loss for Sligo, wouldn't it? And Fitzgerald now gets a shot away. Ooh. What a hit. And it took a little deflection, or was it a save, was it? Yeah, I think Connor just got a hand to it. Decent effort from Wilfred Sherald. Mm. Oh, two assists. Farrell does well, but finds his way. It's a ball jack. Lafferty on the ball again. Deliveries from Branfalk have been excellent. It's a shot on, and it finds his way to Levac. Connor Perrins as well to No, you want to keep that complacency out and it's one of those ones for the manager in the technical area. It's oh, oh Lafferty Moylan, can he score? Oh well stood by McNicholas. And okay. he got I think he got one here, did he Moylan against Sligo last time, was it? Or was that another game and he was I think Shiro was laughing because because of the finish. Yeah, I <laughs> remember that one. I tell you, Luke McNicholas has done really, really well there. Mm. He stayed up, didn't commit too early. The second half, Tariq Wilson was able to just Ooh. clip a ball in. Trouble. Malloy caught wrong for the Max Matter. Looks to play it to Browning. Over this one. It. Far out to Lunny, who shoots. McLickness. Lafferty again. He looks for Kaelin Barlow, and he finds him. Barlow in a good position here. On those right foot, gets a shot away. Oh, and it could have easily been 2 1 to Sligo Rovers. Really, really good play. Yeah, brilliant. Danny Lafferty picked out a lovely little ball into the middle. Barlow made a really clever little run. Mm. Gets it on to his right peg. That's what we talked about. That's the first half, with the header. Caelan Barlow calling. Great ball. Daniel Lafferty, can he get it in? He does. Griffin clears, though, for Shelbourne. Rafferty might get a second chance, he does, hooks it back in. Matt is there! Oh, I think it was Mahan. 
What a header. Off the crossbar. Oh. Pognacco wins the header. Mata's in a good position here. Max Mata gets it across. Oh. Oh, potentially the last person you want there in that yeah, position. Okay. Just took the words out of my mouth. And that's full time. And it's full time. And a few Sligo players on the ground. The majority of them, I think they feel they could have nicked that sting. Fair result. I would say both teams had little spells in the game. Both teams had chances. Both keepers came up with big saves. Draw, fair result all round, I would have thought. Absolutely. And thanks as ever for joining us live on LOI TV. It's been a pleasure. And we'll hear from you again soon.